Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Info Maths, and I'm Shanjibun Ghosh with you. All of you have seen that I have almost stopped uploading video in my channel. So when I was just visiting my own channel, I found a lot of comments, and under that comment, I found one comment that was like a request to upload a video on how to wish Teacher's Day in mathematical language. As all of you know that I started this kind of series two years back. I have already made a video on how to wish Happy Diwali, how to wish Eid Mubarak in mathematical language and so on. Just like that one, I will just upload this video on how to wish Happy Teacher's Day in mathematical language. So all the things we will do throughout the video is I will write one equation over here and step by step we will solve that equation and the answer will mesmerize us. So without delaying, let us start this video. Okay guys, so I have written the equation over here. I had to do a lot of work for that one. These are the project that I had to do for this project. A lot of works I had to do. This was the final paper and this was the final equation. And here I will do it freshly and I will just solve it freshly. The equation is like that one. Y divided by capital T ln e to the power p square is equal to a divided by h to the power a minus 1 within bracket. S into e square integral over 0 to capital R c into r to the power is minus 1 dr plus h inverse y divided by 2t into dd d of d square here i have taken capital d as variable but most of the cases capital letters are taken as constant terms in mathematics here just to solve this equation i have taken it that way okay so this is a very facile equation okay i have not taken a tough one because some of you may not know the higher conception of integration or calculus or differentiation that's why I have just taken the very primary conception of that so that you can go through them and whenever I'm just telling you the formula you can just relate with them okay so first of all here let us solve it out y by t ln means I hope that you know whenever you take logarithm with the base e that is being called as ln okay so ln means nothing but the logarithm I have written over here sorry it is not visible so whenever the base is e that is being called as the ln so you know whenever you are just doing logarithm sum of logarithm if anything is written like that one log of a to the power b then you know that power comes in front and it turns like that b of log a so here it would be so p square into ln e equals to a by h to the power a minus 1 is e to the power 2 c is the constant so you can take it outside of the integration so i am taking it like that one integral 0 to capital r r to the power s minus 1 dr plus h inverse y by 2t into 2 into d to the power 2 minus 1 i'll just show you how it is coming whenever you are doing the differentiation so the formula is like that way d dx of x to the power n will give you n into x to the power n minus 1 where x is any variable and n is a constant here if you if we tally this one with this equation here d d d that means x is capital d here and n is capital i mean 2 only 2 i'm sorry so here n means 2 into d to the power n minus 1 means 2 minus 1 okay this is the primary formula of differentiation now let us come to the next y by t sorry it was p p square ln e the value of ln e is 1 how it is coming that i will elaborate you whenever the base of log and this one becomes equal then answer becomes 1 since I told ln means log base e so you are getting here log e with respect to base e so it will obviously give you 1 okay so here ln e value of ln e is also coming 1 if you have scientific calculator with you you can check this by putting in your calculator only a by h to the power a minus 1 is e to the power 2 into c now we are just integrating this one r to the power s minus 1 if you do the integration it will be r to the power s minus 1 plus 1 by 
is minus 1 plus 1 I have taken R as the variable and is as the constant within the limit 0 to R this is called definite integral there is another kind of integral which is not definite that is indefinite integral whenever you are doing any indefinite integral you have to take or you have to take a constant constant of integration just to avoid that one because in that case that constant may have disturbed the equation of happy teachers day so i have taken only the definite integral okay and i'll just elaborate the formula latter word h minus y by 2t as it was into 2d d to the power 2 minus 1 obviously will give you only d okay now i'm just telling you the formula over here if you are having a having an integration like x to the power n dx it will give you x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c since i have not written any limits over here so that is why it is an in indefinite integral that is why i had to take the constant of integration c okay now another thing you can just neglect i have used two third brackets over here you shouldn't use that so y by t into p square a by h to the power a into h to the power minus 1 i hope that you know that one this is the formula of indices h to the power a plus b can be written as h to the power a into h to the power b here a is a and b is minus 1 so i have written in that way okay a e square c here you are getting r to the power s by s 0 to capital r plus h inverse y by 2t into 2t here you can cancel this 2 and 2 now y by t into p square a by h to the power a into h inverse s e square c r to the power s by s minus 0 by s plus h inverse y d by t this is the process of definite integral if you are having something x within the limit of 0 to a it will be upper limit you have to put the upper limit in place of the variable that means a minus the lower limit in place of the variable so here the variable is small r and the upper limit is capital r so i'm putting capital r first so r to the power s by s minus 0 to the power s you can put 0 to the power s or only 0 because you know 0 to the power something except 0 to the power 0 is 1 okay so you are getting i am taking this h to the power a in this side and the remaining on that side now a by h inverse is e square c r to the power s by s because that part is zero so i am just neglecting that one h inverse into y into t by t here s and s are getting cancelled out so h to the power a into p square into y multiply that t on that side so it will be a t by h inverse e square c r to the power s plus h inverse y d by t we are almost here h to the power a into p square into y is equal to i'll just multiply this constant term with both of the terms inside the bracket so it will be a t h inverse e square c r to the power s plus a t h inverse h inverse y d by t so h inverse and h inverse may get cancelled out and here you can write a to h to the power a p square could be written as p into p you know here h inverse if it get to the upper direction it will become h to the power plus 1 you know this is the rule of indices a into t e square could be written as e into e into c into r to the power s plus here t and t is also getting cancelled out 
a into y into t so h to the power a into p into p into y is equal to h to the power plus 1 you may write that one or you may not write h a t e e c r to the power s plus d a y so if we just rearrange this line so we will get h to the power a p into p into y equals to t e a c h e r to the power s plus d into a into y and you can see the result is coming happy teachers day so that was all if you like that video you may consider subscribing that channel and you may share it with your friends also thank you take care and bye bye